Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here for Chef Knives to Go with another quick look product review. And what we've got this time is the Tojiro Gai Santoku 170mm knife. And uh, this line of knives, uh, like quite a few Tojiro lines, uses VG10 full stainless steel. They're really good at it. Uh, heat treat on that is about 60, 61 Rockwell. The construction is multi-layered soft stainless cladding on either side of that, or a Damascus type finish and uh, the weight and dimension should be similar from knife to knife. This line has a linen micarta handle, so the handle is a bit heavier than some of their other handles, uh, but they use the same blade, and just this is a different line with a slightly different handle on it. Uh, the weight on this one is 175 gram or 6.2 ounces. The edge length is right about 170 as advertised, or about 6.7 inches from the tip to the back of the heel, and the overall length is about 11.6 uh, inches, 294 millimeters. Spine thickness, these are fairly thin knives uh, all the way across. I got about 1.9 millimeters thick at the back um, on the spine and then about 1.8 about halfway down. And then we get a little bit of a spine taper of thickness. It's called the distal taper. Let me keep my camera focused here. And it gets pretty thin at the tip. So this performance on these is, is quite good. Here's the choil shot reasonably thin, fairly thin at the edge as well. Uh, let's see, height is about 47 millimeters at the back and that gives you plenty of ground clearance for your fingers on a, on a grip or a pinch grip especially. Not a problem there. Um, let's see, the handles are really cool. They are a linen micarta which is a very bulletproof type material. Uh, with a really cool texturing. You can read about that on the product page that has to do with the name of the knife line. They've got stainless bolts on either side and it's a full stainless steel tang all the way through. So very, very cool looking handles with some great texture. They've got a nice feel in the hand, uh, nicely contoured. Uh, they're a bit heavy, uh, so that is going to bring your balance point back a bit. So the balance point for this is just a touch in front of that rivet, so it's a little bit handle heavy if you're doing a pinch grip uh, type uh, grip or use of the knife. If you're doing a racket style grip, it'll be a little bit more neutral for you. Let's get our beauty shot here on this guy. <clears throat> okay, uh, close up look. So this has multi-layered soft stainless cladding and then you can see it's got a uh, etched in kanji and some symbols there as well, some writing. And here's the left side of the blade. This is the core steel. This shiny part's the edge bevel. And then this is the core steel right there. And here's your cladding. They've done a nice job on fit and finish on this. It's not crazy polished, but they've relieved the edges of the spine a little bit. And the same thing on the choil back here into the the handle area so it's comfortable out of the box out of the box edge i'll give it a six out of ten they're pretty sharp out of the box um the uh they're fairly stiff and again it's fairly thin at the tip and also at the edge so performance should be quite good let's take a look at the cutting board demo and look at the edge profile on this one and they've got a nice smooth edge profile. There's no dips or bumps in it. Real smooth on the board. Just velvety smooth, nice edge profile. Not a huge flat spot anywhere, but a kind of low amount of belly, a little bit flattish area back here. Kind of rolls into the heel. And then the tip, you can get pretty high on this without digging the tip in. So this will rock definitely over medium to low stuff, no problem at all. You could do tip draws with it, although you have to bring the handle up a little bit because you can rock it fairly high. Definitely push-pull cuts are good, glide cuts, so a little chopping area at the back. So pretty versatile profile. So it's a nice looking knife line, it's a great handle, it's unique. Uh, the handle, as I said, is bulletproof material and quite unique and uh, adds a little weight to it, but feels pretty good in the hand. So this is the Tojiro Gai Santoku 170mm knife from Chef Knives to Go.